Hey, what's up everybody? So today I'm at a customer's house and we're gonna be adding some uh, pretty cool fish to their tank. Uh, they've been waiting a long time for these guys. They just got out of quarantine. They're looking healthy, they're eating good. And I think they'll be a perfect addition to this tank. So let's go ahead and go inside and I'll show you around the tank and I'll show you the fish that we're gonna be adding too. I got them packed up nice in this bucket. Let's go ahead and bring them aside. Now they have two tanks. They have about 180 to 200 gallon uh, aquarium and then they have a small little red sea. Uh, we'll be adding fish to both tanks today. All right, so walking in, here we are. See, we have a skunk clown there. We have a green spotted puffer, one of my favorite fish, I love that guy. Have an antheus over here, which is, you would think that the antheus would be kind of the, uh, antheus is a bit of a bully. Beautiful, we gotta give him some females. Uh, more skunks in the back, I think we have like four or five of those. And then the big bully of the tank, this long nose hawkfish, just the size of, he's huge. And his belly is, must've just ate or something. Look at the size of this thing, but he's really, really aggressive. So uh, gotta be careful what we put in here. Uh, another skunk clown over here, they're all over the place. Underneath here, we had the marine beta, absolute stunning of a fish. Oh, I love that fish. Underneath you see a yellow tang. There's also a blue hippo tang around here somewhere. He's hiding. Clownfish up top in the corner. He loves to, uh, she loves to hang out there in that corner. Gotta get her a pair, a mate. There's a blue hippo tang. And then we have a reef lobster under here, back there in the corner. And a couple corals in here as, as well. This royal grandma. Look at the size of this sucker. Uh, big royal grandma over here. Now, when I first put that royal grandma in here, and he's a good size, and they can usually hold their own, this hawkfish went after him for a good bit. They seem to be chill now. Everybody respects each other, but when I first put him in, yeah, it was not good. So we can't put anything too small or too uh, too docile in this, in this tank because he'll just uh, harass them and tear them apart. Uh, it's amazing that these skunk clowns have made it. He went after them for a little bit, but um, they're able to kind of fend them off. All right, let's look at the fish that we got. Some snails over there. All right, so the first one, <clears throat> for the smaller tank, the Red Sea tank, we got two yellow clown gobies. Bright colored, um, Nice little personalities, good eaters. They don't hide. Uh, really good for a small tank. I love these guys. Perfect for that little red sea tank that we're gonna put them in. Now for the big tank. We got a blue-headed, blue-headed brass. Great fish. It's gonna add a lot of movement to the tank. Um, it's big enough to where it shouldn't be bullied by anybody. And it's, the colors will get better once it's in this tank and it feels a little bit more comfortable, but that's a gorgeous fish. We'll go ahead and float him. Just a damsel, just a plain damsel. It's uh, something that's a little bit bigger, has a little nice color. It's got some yellows and purples in there. It's hard to show up on camera, but um, something that's gonna be able to um, stay out in the open, be more visible and uh, be able to hold its own against uh, some of the more aggressive fish in this tank. And then finally, we have a green chorus wrasse. This fish is gorgeous. If you look closely, you can see it's got the pink markings on its face. Um, I think this fish is gonna be awesome for this tank. Again, it's a wrasse, so it's gonna have tons of movement. Uh, be, it'll be swimming, it'll be out in the front, and we'll be able to appreciate it. Oh, I see a lot of the fish that we have in here. There's, you know, they're nice, but besides the tanks who hide, uh, there's not much movement here. So we need some more wrasse and things to kind of fill this area out and get some more movement for the customer. Um, you know, when you're looking at the tank, you got more going on. Now I would put a school of fish in here, but you can't just for the simple fact that anything too small that hawkfish is gonna go after. All right, let's get these guys acclimated and then we'll put them in. All right, there we go. He's cool. He's acclimated. All right, let's 
put the other two in. Next up is the damsel. Ah, beautiful. Looks great. Let's do the green wrasse. There's the green wrasse. Alright, everybody's in. I am in the middle of doing a water change. Um, we'll go ahead and start filling back up, and then we'll check on them. But so far, it doesn't seem like there's too much of an issue. Um, Anthea is getting a little excited. Um, let's go ahead and fill up and see how everybody's doing. All right, so we have all the fish in here. Um, uh, the green coarse wrasse uh, dug himself underneath the sand, so we're not seeing him. But there goes a bluehead wrasse, doing great. Swimming around here, very active. Uh, I love wrasse, I just love how active they are. Really add a lot of life to the tank. And the uh, damsels in the back right there. There's been a little bit of picking, a little bit of, you know, kind of just, you know, hey, this is my tank type of thing. But uh, for the most part, Everything's kind of chill, and he is beautiful in here. So, uh, three great additions to this uh, aquarium, and uh, <laughs> I think the next addition we're gonna try to put in here is a uh, door flying fish, so that'll be exciting. All right, so we're at the next job here. Now, I've done uh, videos of this tank in the past. Uh, it was struggling really bad. They were doing some construction in the house, and um, some painting and some other stuff like that. Anyways, long story short, the tank got, um, felt some ill effects from all the dust and all the stuff that was going on in the house. Here we are some months later and the tank is looking really good. We got some fish to add today. I'm just really excited to see this tank kind of turn around. It took some hard work, but um, it's definitely, you know, there's a dramatic difference in how it looks now. So let's go ahead and get the fish inside, get them acclimated and put them in the tank so you guys can see what we got. So this tank looks so much better than the last time when I videotaped it. I'm really happy with the progress we're making. Uh, we're headed in the right direction. Uh, these corals are all just going crazy with the growth. And uh, this is, you know, there's softies in here. There's LPS corals and there's SPS corals. And anybody who's familiar with keeping reef tanks knows that the hardest uh, tank to keep is the mixed reef tank. You know, when you're dealing with corals that are found from all different locations of the ocean, from shallow to deeper, different temperatures, different lighting uh, requirements, it can get a little bit tricky. But so far the corals in this tank, I mean, you can look at that, that's a, that's a Duncan coral. Look how that thing's just taking off. Um, the acant colonies are really taking off. Uh, every coral in this, in this tank is really growing pretty well. And um, I'm happy about that. But it's now presented a new problem, which is, you know, there's, there's hardly any room left in this tank. So now you're dealing with uh, corals battling over real estate. So we had to get in here and kind of um, trim some stuff up. But I guess that's a, you know, that's a, that's a good problem to have. Now, there is a little bit of some, uh, uh, some, some regression in this tank. That's because the customer did get some corals uh, about a month ago that unfortunately had some LPS eating flatworms in here, which has, has caused some damage. But we're doing our best to do treatments on it. We got wrasses in here to hopefully uh, knock down the numbers of them. Um, and it seems to be working a little bit, but there's definitely some uh, uh, trouble uh, making uh, flatworms in this tank. So I love that monopora up there on this return pump. I, I, the color of that is insane. And I love how it's growing up there. And then on the left side too, we have this pink monopora uh, that's growing all on the return uh, uh, nozzle too. And some star polyp growing over there on the side. Pavona is looking great. So yeah, you got your SPS that are doing fairly well in here. And uh, yeah, that incredible Hulk lepto encrusting like crazy. So yeah, I'm I'm happy with with what we've had to go through with this tank and the trouble and the up and down downs that we've had in this tank. I mean, I mean we're here once every two weeks. So for for me, this is a this is a huge win. I'll take it. I love these rock flower anemones with the yellow middle and the red skirt. They're so cool to me. Also, I fragged some of the monopora right here because these corals right here are being shaded and they were starting to kind of die off and not spreading as much. So I fragged that monopora to give them a little bit more room so they can grow and uh, we can really show those off. Now, as far as the fish that we're going to be putting in here today, I have a uh, orchard dotty back. <sighs> a flame hawk fish that I'm just, I, I really don't want to let go. I wanted this for myself, but he'll be extremely happy in this tank, so... 
and then a ruby red uh, fairy wrasse right here. So all three of these fish, brightly colored, uh, really gonna add a lot to this tank. So everybody's in, they went into hide, to hiding. Uh, you had this little puffer that was showing some interest, kind of checking out what, what the new, who the new guys are. So they kind of scared the other fish away, but they're, they're underneath there, uh, hawkfish is underneath there somewhere. Uh, give them a couple days, they'll come out. You know how fish, how fish do. Uh, we have two puffers in here. Look at that little guy. I love these. They're such cool fish. That angel fish is insane. I love that thing. But uh, yeah, so I mean, there's plenty. Of, this is a huge tank. There's plenty of room. There's not that many fish in this tank. So I want to add more, probably some more of those blue reef chromas. Definitely get a school of those going in here. But there's definitely a lot more room for fish. Now I just fed them some clams because my boys were hungry. Ah, these puffers are just such, these, these puffers are just such a great addition to uh, reef tanks. That was, uh, that was awesome. We got two of them in here, like I said, and uh, they're, they're really well behaved. So I'm really excited how that aquarium's coming along. It's, it's, it, it looks pretty bad there for a while, but um, it's doing much better now. And I'm really excited about the, the new additions uh, of fish that we put in there. I think they're perfect for that tank and uh, I think they're gonna do very well and add a lot to the, that aquarium.